All right, hello, my name is Ben. I'm just going to be demoing um, the Stable Diffusion Photoshop plugin. Um, it's called Bashful, um, and it's based on a, a artist workflow uh, of photo bashing. So I'm just going to run right into it and just show you how it works. Um, so I'm going to create a new file. I'm actually going to use this 124 by 124 because um, that's what the, uh, the best results are coming out of. Uh, so let's go and load this guy. So I'm using the plug-in stuff um, just to showcase. So this is working right now. <laughs> Currently uh, we're in some development so I'm showing a development version. Uh, we're going to be regenerating all layers um, and selected layers uh, here. Um, I actually need to move this out. Um, now uh, what this means is that we actually can create a context uh, let me just show you how this one single version works. Um, so uh, each layer here, layer one, has a context now associated it, with it, um, and it can it will say, um, I just saw a bird, so I'll say a bird in a tree. And <clears throat> now, if I want to maintain the same uh, thing, the same um, graphic of this layer, I would need to st set the consistency uh, strength uh, pretty high, um, but I don't. So I'm selecting this layer. And I'm saying, I just want a new bird in a tree. Do, do, do. All right, so now it's working. We are at 44%. Uh, I just increased the step, so this is taking a little bit longer. I wanted to see how this would get, how these produce. So this is a photo. Uh, so let's say I don't really like that, you know, um, and I want a, an illustration of a bird in a tree. Oh yeah, and um, to let the users know, uh, I'm actually going to keep this consistency uh, at around 60 now, because um, I want to keep maintain this I image. So this was a completely generated image. Um, it's not real. Um, and yeah, let's just we'll go ahead and regenerate. So now it's on hit the, it's now the new layer. So we also, um, we delete the layer before and we are regenerating things. Um, so let's continue. Now you might see a few things here, um, hide styles and increase resolution. I'm going to show you the hide and unhide. Um, styles is something we are kind of working on a little bit more. Okay. Let's see what the difference is here. So you can see it's getting a little bit better. Actually, I think uh, I think it got more real, not less. Uh, but okay, so let's just show something that I, I like about the previous one versus. I actually like all these birds there. <laughs> What's really strange about them is that they're all brown. I actually kind of like them. So I'm going to remove everything else but these birds in this first photo. See if I go here and I, I do the mask, yeah. So what I'm doing here with this plugin is I'm also taking uh, the concept of uh, good not great, you know, um, and making it super easy for people. So I remember uh, hearing about this company that um, th makes good coffee, not great coffee. And so I kind of want this whole thing to just kind of be around um, is good enough, right? We don't need all this customization. So hiding, right, an end user, I want it to be more accessible to people. So the end user um, won't need to know that they're actually putting a mask on and then, you know, doing stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just regenerate this layer. So it creates a copy. And now it's gonna be kind of strange because um, I said a bird in a tree <laughs> and you can see it is like stitching in now. So you got like these little paper cuts, um, which is totally fine. Right, so now I have all this stuff. <laughs> I don't, and I re did recreate these. So now if I go and I, I look at these, you see the portions that I kept here are um, recreated. Ooh, probably should want to just, you know, so I didn't mask all this stuff, but this did get recreated. Um, See, boom, boom, these guys. 
Now, something can be done with in-painting. We're going to be coming out with something called the Prompt Painter, which is going to be another tool, uh, and it's really going to be like this. So I'm going to show the cool portion of this, which is... Um, actually, let me, let me just put all this together. I'm going to merge all these. Right, I'm going to say that's fine. And so it kind of looks like, oh, this is all cut up and whatnot, but I can probably just regenerate it again and it'll all be fine. You might have some little white stuff here. Yeah. Okay, so this is only using 21 steps. The other one was using 50. Okay, and so now it's smoothed it over, so we're good. And it's still not an illustration. Like, these are not really good. Uh, examples. I'm not showing a, a, a fantastic demo, but you can see that um, things do change. So uh, I smoothed it over. I'm just going to make another layer. I'm going to call it background. Now I'm actually going to call this one. I'm going to create another context. So here's where the beauty of our app, uh, our plugin is, is that we're not focusing on one document. We're focusing on a collection of documents. We're focusing on things that can be generated and edited um, in a multitude of ways, right? So I'm going to go to the background. I'm going to say, uh, let me put that up there, uh, an illustration of, of a uh, mystical tree anime style, right? And I'm just going to I mean, there's no, there's nothing on this layer, so I'm just gonna say, regenerate it and start off. So this is the 50 step one. So this should, it's actually looking like it's taking less time, so it's it's having an easier time to produce this type. Mm -mm -mm. So now what we have. <clears throat> let me just. This is getting kind of big. Uh, I think I could just do something like that. Okay, let me put that away. Okay, so we now we have this tree. I'm going to put this guy in front. And uh, let's just start hiding it all. Um, and again, like I said, I don't really want uh, people to have to know how to mask things and etc. So I'm going to do that for them, for this. Um, so we're now hiding. You can see I can bring some of this stuff up. I mean, this isn't like the best uh, example, but you can see the the use cases that this can have, especially if you can do this type of method, um, and then also run it in a batch, right? And we're just trying to see details. We just want details um, in here. We're we're wanting. We're not trying to show our talent we're just trying to get the details that we like from the AI right and you know I might want to even maybe I just want to say I don't like these guys like this so I'm gonna say anime style uh, uh, an illustration of three birds mystical birds or it's anime style. So I'm going to regenerate this guy, and so I've masked this. I'm only going to do this this top layer. All right, you can see that it it created the this version. I really think I need to increase the step size of this AI. Yeah, we need to increase the step size. This is not producing the best results. Um, Let's take this down and go back to 378. So I don't like this this version. Um, I want the styling string up, probably. So let's see what it does. A little bit of tweaking. So this is right now, we're only doing a prompt that says what we want, and we have these bat, these multiple contexts, and each one of these has, each one of these has its own layer being management, managed. Ugh, managed. Uh, so look, this is looking pretty good. Okay, cool. That's dope. Um, so now I have these three guys. Uh, probably want to mask this a little bit further now. Um, okay, wow. 
why is that not masking further? Ah, because that was on the other layer. A little bit of stuff, okay. Huh! That's funny, if I get rid of that guy, you can see that these are showing where they came from. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, so it's kind of stuff like that. Um, this is not like the best showcase, the best demo on that because it's not. I didn't come out with a great uh, piece, but I'm not an artist, I'm an uh, engineer. But I want to show more of the features of the app. And so we do have all this. You can create more context. Um, what not we give feedback back to the users um, using a diegetic uh, information so in our systems in our design process we are thinking uh, that the user wants is going to want to interact with the AI and we so we kind of I mean it's the AI so we want it and we're in a new generative AI era so we wanted it to be um, like a living thing so like when you do this it, it, you know things shift it breathes um, and then you know it's kind of like you type in here and this thing starts to act like it's been, it's getting tickled. Um, so this is the kind of the style that we're going to be doing. And then we're also moving um, this into a web app as well. Not this particular thing, but we're going to have assets. Because so, we can actually save this project. We can save the whole thing. We're creating a bashful project. Um, and then, I don't know, I'm just going to say uh, uh, test. Um, this feature right here is not complete. Um, we are working on it right now, loading the project and bringing it back in. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of working already, sorta. I mean, the state of the app is, but not not a few things. Uh, okay, so I want to go further, right? So the hard part here is prompt engineering, right? People don't know what prompts they need to say. Like, how are you going to know it needs to say an illustration or anime style, etc.? So we're working on the features there too, um, and we do have something like artists. Um, it was our first pass. It's not the best. Um, but you can say anime, and then you can get a list of artists that are part of that, and you can just continually uh, say all this stuff, right? Uh, and then if you try and regenerate it, it, it will change. You know? So, um, and it's just all, like, again, the diegetic feedback. Um, you'll see this thing move. That means that it's saved. Um, people just need to know that things are working. So anyway, let's see what these what this does with these new styles applied. Oh, this one's interesting. It's actually doing 40 steps right now. So this is going to produce good results. There you go. We get some of this uh, stuff. Uh, probably want to have better masking. Um, I bet we could probably use the smart object tool or something. I don't know. Is this it? Object selection. Yeah. And you can see it's uh it's it's doing that. So a blend of Photoshop and stable diffusion with this plugin. It looks like this is all gonna be working out just fine using the smart object tool. Probably need to come out with some tutorials and everything, but I wanted to showcase how this can work and where we're going. Um and soon we'll be going and regenerating a whole bunch of layers. Um, and yeah, we're already on the we're already making the web app and the processes and figuring this out. And we have a few uh, people we're going to be showing this to. So um, yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching.